Lynchburg, Virginia, a growing, vibrant town of 80,000 people along the James River, a city working to build its future while remaining proud of its rich history. The idea of preserving Lynchburg's history came to the forefront in the 1970s when construction projects began to threaten historic downtown neighborhoods and other architectural gems were being lost to neglect and decay. That's when citizens began to push for the creation of the city's first historic districts in hopes of preserving the homes and architecture that give Lynchburg its historic character. I, I think it would have just become, you know, some, I mean, some single family dwellings, some apartment houses. I mean, it really brought things together that people, people had to, they had to maintain the outside of the house, the character of the house the historical nature of the house, and that kind of brought us together. It was a single goal that we were all fighting for. Today, there are eight historic districts all across the city, designated zones where the buildings are protected by guidelines designed to preserve the historic integrity of the neighborhood. These guidelines closely follow state and federal recommendations for the preservation of historic architecture and are limited to the exterior of the building and the lot on which it sits. For residents and prospective homeowners in a historic district, it's important to remember the guidelines exist not only to maintain a neighborhood's overall historic character, but to protect each homeowner's investment in their property. When you're dealing with historically accurate materials, you're dealing with, honestly, materials that if you're going to rebuild the house now, we could never afford to rebuild it. We really have to be able to protect our asset. And one of the ways we do that, especially with these neighborhoods were built with houses relatively close to each other. We're not totally spread out, so one house directly impacts the other houses in the neighborhood. So it's really important that your neighbor has the same respect for the exterior of their house that then intrinsically you know, applies to the outside of your house as well. So it's really important that everybody kind of is under those same guidelines. For a homeowner, making changes to the exterior of a property in an historic district can be as simple as filling out a form with the city's community development staff outlining the specifics of what you plan to do and answering any questions the staff may have. On average, city staff handle about 100 requests for changes every year. Just about half of those are approved administratively within just a few days with the issuance of a certificate of appropriateness. Anybody who wants to make an um, exterior change can either apply to, for a COA, a Certificate of Appropriateness, on our website, on the Historic District page, or by coming in and getting a hard copy from the office. Um, then you'll either submit a hard copy or submit it through online. Staff will review it. Staff will see whether it is an exterior change that needs to go to the, the HPC or whether it could be done administratively. The remaining requests go before the Historic Preservation Commission, a seven-member body of Lynchburg residents appointed to serve because they have a demonstrated knowledge of and interest in historic preservation. The HPC meets once a month to review applications, hear from the property owner and other interested parties, and then vote on whether to approve the request. Uh, we really try and uh try and work with the property owner to even make recommendations. We have a really great diverse group of folks on the commission, some that are architects, designers, builders, uh, folks who are just generally interested in historic preservation. And we've been around the block, so to speak, a few times, so sometimes we can make recommendations the property owner had not thought about that might actually meet their needs, meet the guidelines, and still be in a, uh, in a comfortable situation for both parties. Sometimes, if the Commission cannot agree to approve a request, it will appoint an advocate to work with the property owner on finding the right balance between their plans and what the guidelines allow. I really think that uh, folks should not view uh, the Commission as a uh, overwhelming stickler or uh, someone who is just incredibly difficult to work with. Couldn't be further from the truth. We're really here to help make recommendations if someone is having difficulty trying to figure out exactly how to get around a project and make it meet the guidelines, which is obviously in the best interest of their own historic home as well. The Commission and the City remain committed to the goals of preserving Lynchburg's history while also respecting the property rights of its residents. Both are equally important when it comes to maintaining the quality of life in the Hill City. If you're coming to Lynchburg for a, a historic home, the historic districts certainly offer that kind of value and also the kind of 
diversity in architecture that a lot of people want to see. I think we've been really lucky to have the types of historic architecture still existing. Um, and so when they're coming from outside areas, we have such a large plethora that they're coming directly to the historic districts where they know that's going to be preserved over time. And there's certainly value that is kept here because of that. These properties are a, a shining point. I mean, it's really, it's a people make it a, an absolute point to make it to Lynchburg to see some of the properties that we have restored here in this area. It's really, really quite phenomenal. Not only the large utilitarian buildings that we have downtown that have found new use, but also these homes in the, in the historic districts that are just beyond beautiful.